Hey, what's going on? Welcome to Fox Tech. Today we're tackling a common issue. It might take a few minutes to activate your iPad. This problem can arise for various reasons, and I'll guide you through the steps to resolve it, whether you've bought a secondhand iPad, are setting up a new one, or trying to reactivate an old device, we've got you covered. First, let's clarify the situation. Are you dealing with a secondhand iPad, a brand new one, or a device you previously owned? Each scenario might have different underlying issues. For secondhand iPads, one common problem is an activation lock. This happens if the previous owner didn't properly wipe the device, leaving it linked to their Apple ID. If this is the case, you'll need the original Apple ID and password to proceed. Without this information, unfortunately, you won't be able to activate the iPad. If you're sure that the iPad is not iCloud locked, there might be another issue at play. One possibility is a temporary outage with Apple's activation servers. This isn't common, but it does happen. If the servers are down, you won't be able to activate your iPad until the service is restored. In this case, the best solution is to wait and try again later. A more frequent cause of activation issues is a poor internet connection. Your iPad needs a stable internet connection to communicate with Apple servers during the activation process. If your Wi-Fi signal is weak or your internet connection is unstable, you might encounter delays or failures in the activation process. Ensure that your iPad is connected to a strong, reliable Wi-Fi network and try again. Additionally, some users might face this problem if they have manually downloaded an iOS or iPadOS IPSW file from the internet. If the version of the software you downloaded is no longer signed by Apple, it won't be possible to activate your device. Apple stops signing older versions of their software to ensure users are on the latest, most secure versions. If you suspect this might be the issue, you'll need to restore your iPad using the latest official version of iOS or iPad OS. By addressing these potential issues, you should be able to resolve the activation delay on your iPad. If it's a server outage, waiting is your best bet. For internet connectivity issues, double check your Wi-Fi connection. And if you've used an unsigned IPSW file, make sure to update to the latest official software. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to Fox Tech C for more tech tips and tutorials. Peace.